think back to your favorite childhood picture books. Now imagine those books without any pictures. The University of Colorado has teamed up with the Colorado Center for the Blind and local library maker spaces. Together, they are making a new type of book for visually impaired children. This is the Build a Better Book Project. We often talk about books being both a mirror and a window. Books allow children to know who they are and who they might be. Through preschool, kindergarten, and through the elementary grades, picture books are the primary um, uh, kind of book that they engage with. As we have gone away from text in our text-based books into graphics and image-based books, um, more and more information isn't getting described or made accessible to uh, students who are blind or visually impaired. And the only way they're going to be able to get that in a really efficient and independent manner is if we start making more and more tactile graphics and graphics images available to them. The Build a Better Book project engages diverse learners in a socially purposeful design experience, the digital design and fabrication of accessible, multimodal books for children. The goal of this NSF iTest project is to connect teens with technology opportunities that they might not otherwise be aware of by involving them in making activities at their local library. One of the things that I really love about this project is that it connects engineering and design and technology with things like art and literacy and storytelling. And I think because of that, we're able to attract students who have varied interests. STEM has this kind of stereotype of just math and um, engineering and science. Like you actually have to think outside of the box a lot and be artistic and be creative. Building a Better Book is really about getting kids uh, thinking about a purpose that they can use the technologies that we, we have here in the space that are available to them. They can actually design around a purpose. Um, and we're actually seeing students come into the space that had never been here before and now they're coming back to other programs and they're really getting um, connected to making because they got pulled in through that mission-driven um, start. You're not in a specific area where you're just focusing on one thing, but you're focusing on many aspects with dealing with different communities and different problems throughout the project. In the coming months, we hope to involve many students in critical making activities. We also hope to learn more about the role of public makerspaces in connecting students from diverse backgrounds with STEM fields and careers.